everyone, Laser Dave here from TroTech Laser. I'm thrilled to be back with another captivating deep dive. Today, we're exploring the fascinating realm of laser engraving and cutting in combination with UV and traditional epoxy resin for inlays, color fills, and enhancements, creating some stunning and lucrative applications. Laser cutting and engraving, when paired with the aesthetic appeal of epoxy resin, unlock numerous artistic and commercial opportunities. The precision of laser technology, combined with the color and texture enhancements from traditional or UV epoxy resin inlays, produces eye-catching products. This combination captures artists' interest and presents a lucrative venture for entrepreneurs. This video will provide a deep dive walkthrough of engraving and cutting materials to be combined with epoxy. This first basic example will showcase a highly profitable application by producing an epoxy pour inlay into solid surface materials, also known as the brand name Corian. Scan this QR code for a source to purchase small sheets and shapes of this material. To get started, place the Corian into the laser, focus the laser, and then close the laser lid. Open Ruby. Import the desired graphic into Ruby and place the design over the material using the red pointer or overhead camera. Then select a custom made parameter for a solid surface material and push the file to the laser. Push start and laser engrave the design. Because this material has the weight and density of stone, it requires a lot of laser power to engrave. I have created a custom parameter for this material. With engraving settings on my Speedy 400, 120 watt, running it at 100% power, 20% speed, and 500 DPI with two laser passes to achieve a good depth. Once finished, open the laser and remove any residue by wiping it with a damp cloth or washing the engraved solid surface material with water and a brush. For this epoxy fill, I purchased a small UV resin starter kit from Amazon that includes almost everything necessary to get started for under $20. Scan the QR codes or see the links below to order. I have also purchased some pre-mixed UV epoxy resin in colors. This kit is good to start, but you can also use clear epoxy and mix your own colors, as I will show later in the video. In addition to this kit, a small butane torch or heat gun, rubber gloves, and a sander will also be necessary. Gather these supplies and place the engraving onto the silicone mat provided in this starter kit. Cured epoxy will not stick to this mat. For this example, I will use red epoxy. As you pour the epoxy, you will see that it will slowly self-level into the engraved channels, making sure to place more than you think you will need, as it will shrink a bit when cured. Once all the gaps are filled, take the torch or a heat gun and quickly go over the wet epoxy. The heat will instantly remove any bubbles. Now, place the UV light over the part to cure it. This process only requires four to five minutes to harden completely. After it is cured, you can remove the light and it is ready for the next step. For the next step, a sander is required as the finishing process is similar to a traditional inlay process. Take a sander with a few different sanding grit sandpaper. In this example, I will start with 100 grit to remove the excess resin till it is flush. Then change the sandpaper to something like 180 grit. And then finish with 240 grit. You can continue to use finer and finer sanding and polish should you like depending on the desired looks. But with this example, I will use the clear epoxy instead of polishing it. Once finished, wipe the dust from the surface and place it back onto the silicone mat. The next step is called doming, using the epoxy's viscosity. A dome effect on the surface can easily be achieved to produce a transparent dome effect. To do this, use the clear UV epoxy and pour it onto the surface of the freshly sanded and inlaid material, getting it close to the edge until there is a sufficient supply of epoxy surface. Use the small silicone tools that come with the starter kit to fill in any part that is not filled in. And because of the epoxy viscosity, it will not pour over the edge unless you use too much. Once covered and tight to the edge, as shown in this example, use the flame to remove any bubbles. Then, place the UV light over the clear dome for four to five minutes to cure. Once finished, you will have an amazing looking effect with an optically clear polished dome on the surface of the laser engraved and epoxy inlaid image. 
Here are a few other examples of some Corian cutting boards I processed the same way, only these were sanded flush and not domed. As you can see, you can achieve incredible results and detail. Only laser technology can achieve this kind of accuracy and detail. The process for wood is slightly different because any liquid will permeate the wood grain, causing bleeding. To combat bleeding into the wood, there are some necessary additional steps. Start by first masking the wood. This step is not entirely necessary but will save on sanding later. Once masked, place the wood into the laser, open the Ruby software, and place the desired graphic into Ruby. In this example, I will process this coaster design and duplicate it to make a set of four. I will choose the skip overlapping cut lines. I will select the walnut wood material parameter, adjusting the speed to apply a fair amount of depth or set the laser to engrave two passes. Push the file to the laser and then engrave and cut the design into this masked solid walnut wood. The next step is crucial to keep any bleeding from happening from paint, or in this case, epoxy, and that is to spray a clear coat into the engraving. This will seal the grains of the wood and allow for a perfect color fill that you will see in the following steps. Once sprayed, make sure it is fully dry, then you can remove the masking. You can skip the masking step, but the clear coating will take longer to sand off if it is not masked. These coasters are now ready for an epoxy color fill. For this example, I have purchased some pigment powders that provide a metallic pearlized look. Scan the QR code or see the link in the description below for this epoxy pigment kit. Since this is dark wood, I will use this pure white pigment. Place a small amount into the provided silicone cup, then apply an approximate amount of UV clear epoxy and stir it together. Pour the mixed UV epoxy into the engraving and smooth it out like frosting a cake. Now, use the flame or heat to remove any bubbles. Then, place it under a UV light. In this example, I will use sunlight in place of the small UV light as the sun is by far the best UV light source, taking the same four to five minutes in the sun to cure. Once cured, sand the surface to remove any excess resin until it is nice and flush. You can then spray with a clear coating shown here for a faster look that is outstanding, showcasing the pearlized metallic look of the epoxy inlay. Or proceed with a doming effect using clear epoxy on the coaster like before for a much more expensive look, producing a metallic pearlized white UV resin inlay look with a domed clear coating. Finish the coasters with cork feet on the bottom for the most expensive looking coasters you will ever see. Next, I will showcase laser cutting with one of the most profitable applications I have ever seen, laser cut and UV cured epoxy jewelry. This process is fast and straightforward. First, convert the desired design to a cut line in Ruby. Place the material in the laser and cut out the shape. This example is cut from veneered bamboo wood. Scan this QR code to order the wood used here. Remove from the laser and wipe them clean with a damp cloth. For the next step, I will use a special polypropylene tape. Scan the QR code or see the link below for details. This tape is known as epoxy resin tape because cured epoxy will not stick to it. Place some of this tape down to a table Place the laser cut jewelry onto the tape and pour the epoxy into the cut shape, either with just enough to fill it or with enough for a dome effect shown here in a single pour, using the silicone tools to gently dome the epoxy. This entire process is shown in real time with a cut time of 14 seconds with an 80 watt laser and only seconds to pour the small amount of needed epoxy. This application requires very little time to create and can be completed in volume quickly with a very low total material cost. Based on comparable examples, a complete set of earrings like this will sell on Etsy for $15 to $35 a pair. Here are a few other examples. This example was first filled with blue resin, cured, then domed with clear and cured again for a unique finished look. For thick material and deep pores, the UV epoxy will not work. 
For this, you will require the traditional two-part epoxy. The epoxy process is very similar, but will need far more time to complete. Scan this QR code to order this two-part tabletop epoxy. The main difference is that this type of epoxy requires two parts to be mixed to activate versus using a UV light in a one-to-one -one ratio, mixing an equal amount of each. I have poured an equal amount of part A and part B into separate clear cups. I will add a pigment to one side if desired, mix it in, then pour them together, and mix for about five minutes straight, as there is plenty of time before it cures. For this example, I have laser cut a 6mm walnut wood 12 by 12 inch panel that I pre-masked before it was cut. I then masked the edges after placing it on a white polypropylene base so the epoxy would stick to it. Once mixed, pour the epoxy into the laser cut openings until it has the desired depth and flame the surface. Unlike the UV epoxy, you must flame the bubbles away every 5 to 10 minutes for the first hour or so as it starts to set up. Then, let it cure for 72 hours or three full days. Once cured, remove the mask for a finished stained glass looking effect that can be backlighted. This effect works well because it does not need to be sanded if there is not too much epoxy added as the epoxy shrinks a bit as it cures, producing this water in a lake effect. This process is ideal for backlighted signage by placing an LED strip behind the colored epoxy for outstanding results to make the product stand out. Laser cutting and engraving materials, combined with applying epoxy resin, can unleash creative and lucrative opportunities. This process will work with any materials that can be engraved with depth or laser cut. Personalized gifts, intricate artwork, promotional items, and unique decor like maps or landscapes are all possible with this process. With a laser, the precision and personalization are boundless, opening doors to a myriad of commercial and artistic ventures, making every piece you create a potential treasure for someone and can yield an exceptional return on investment with so many possible markets. All web links and design files shown in the video will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.